In this video, we'll introduce two of our products with nanosecond time resolution, a silicon photomultiplier and a pulsed laser diode. Exploiting the nanosecond resolution, we'll set up a simple time of flight experiment to measure the speed of light on a tabletop. A silicon photomultiplier is a solid state version of the classic vacuum tube. The Iconol SIPM01 used in this experiment has a sub nanosecond rise time and is self contained with an integrated bias and amplifier. It's sensitive to a single photon, but this experiment will rely only on device speed. Unlike a conventional PMT, the SIPM is rugged, compact, and ambient light safe. The light source in this demonstration is the Iconol NLD01. This laser diode emits a train of nanosecond duration pulses triggered by an external signal generator. Here's the optical layout using these devices with a variable optical path so that the change in the time of flight can be measured. The optical delay line uses three cube corners, two of which are mounted side by side on a moving carriage. The nanosecond pulse is incident on the upper reflector and sent back to the fixed cube corner and reflected again to the second moving reflector. The final leg is picked off by a fold mirror and directed to the SIPM detector. The rail system forms a sort of optical trombone. One centimeter of motion of the carriage results in a four centimeter change in optical path. The laser diode is triggered by a signal generator, which also triggers the oscilloscope recording the signal from the SIPM. The oscilloscope can measure the time delay between the trigger and the arrival of the pulse on the detector. In this experiment, the 100 MHz bandwidth scope is the slowest component, with a rise time of 3.5 nanoseconds. This is a video of the detected pulse on the scope, which moves with the carriage as the optical path length is changed. Recording the pulse delay as a function of carriage position shows that the delay increases linearly with measured distance. The slope, of course, equals the speed of light, measured to a fraction of a percent. The largest uncertainty is the systematic error of the steel rule used to determine the location of the carriage. We hope this video serves as a useful introduction for using these Iconol products for generating and detecting nanosecond pulses. If you're interested in either of these products, please visit our website or contact us. Thanks for watching.